Hi guys. Um, today I wanted to make some sort of other video, no, uh, not a blog, a bloggy thing, a vloggy thing. But I wanted to react to a Marcus Butler video I came across recently. It is called uh, "Try Candy from Holland." I thought it would uh, be fun uh, to uh, react to. And yeah. It's just my normal warm up routine for a video. Hello! So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I just kind of wanted to sit down and basically have a little chat with you because I don't really do that anymore. I like kind of just sitting here, having nothing on my mind to say, and just talking to you. Well, I do actually have an idea for this video, but I haven't planned anything out whatsoever. So basically, I went to Amsterdam the other day. I visited the country Holland or the Netherlands, depends on, uh, is there a difference? What is the difference between Holland and the Netherlands? Because when between I arrived, Holland I like, and the and then Netherlands, so yeah. Them in the Netherlands. Oh, by the way, I'm filming this on my uh, phone because, phone because yeah, so. the other camera was yeah. dirt or something. Oh wait, and I feel this video wouldn't be complete without the following. Three, two, one. Uh, a typical uh, Whoa, orange that. shirt um, from the Netherlands. Yeah, a Holland top. So this is my Holland top. I've got <laughs> Robin on the back. I'm Robin! And I've also got some clogs on. Oh, shit. He Maybe calls it do those thin yeah. cloaks. Yeah. Why? We call them uh, So yeah, if you guys follow my second channel, you may have seen that I went to Amsterdam for a few days with Naomi. Whilst I was there, I met a lot of you Dutch people, and you kind of gave me this bag full of stuff. Those it stuff are delicious, Dutch by the way. Food and things that I think you can only get in Holland, so I thought I'd maybe try some of it and share some of my stories from Amsterdam whilst doing that. Before we begin, can I just point out, Amsterdam and bikes, fucking ridiculous. Seriously, Not ridiculous. you guys are insane. We just love bikes, bikes in the Netherlands, so... Yeah. Here in Grootbroek, we uh, drive one of these bikes. Videos. One of the things that all you guys were tweeting me about was these things called Stroop Waffles. You, Stroop you, Waffles. You mean Stroop Waffles. How does Dutch speak? Stroop Wasch, 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 Waffles. Waffles? I'm probably offending every <laughs> Dutch person in the world. You're right not now, offending so me. Apologies. You're not off uh, offending me, but you sound like oh, a oh, yeah, German uh, uh, person. Dude. What the hell? They have like caramel stuff in the middle. Ooh. Oh my god, they're like Werther's Originals. Very interesting, Holland. Is this just a Holland thing? Yeah. Amsterdam was full of amazing places for food as well, by the way. If you ever go, you definitely need to check out a place called Sla. Sla. Not really sure. Lettuce, I think it yeah. means lettuce. Just check it out. It's pretty awesome. Oh, hang on. There we go. Back in the Flower Holland crown spirit. Thingy. A Munten drop. Hard zoit. Booster Kuse. Munten drop. Mm, like food. It looks like, food. like an actual button Amazing. that would sit on your clothing. No. It is Smells not a, a like button. It is drop. Ow. Oh, it's like licorice. Nothing's really happening when I'm chewing my mouth, though. Basically, if you eat these, you're gonna end up with no teeth. I must have chewed that 30 times. Okay, this is like a freaking mouth <laughs> workout. Whilst we're in Amsterdam, I have to eat a drop my things. whole life, um, and, and I things still. Things that I felt like I couldn't not do whilst being in Amsterdam, like visiting Anne Frank's house, which if you have been, You'll know what I mean when I say this. It I is have never such been to the Anne Frank house, but yeah. I think it is there. First of all, a the nice fact house that to see. So many people but that want it is to visit really this emotional, from all around so the world. I don't Constantly know. shows how big of a story and what a historical mark it was, I guess. But when you're there, you kind of. It's so weird because you're obviously in the actual house and you're walking around areas where Anne Frank and her family would have actually been during that time. You just get a bit overwhelmed with the whole thing. Clean. Clean. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking that everything's like eh, eh, eh. You really sound Ingels like a German Ingels. person is that going to be like to English? Dutch. These are like Bassets. This is doing my head and I can't remember what these are called. They're just called, oh, assorted licorice? And also Tastes drop. exactly the same. One of my other favorite things that we did was we visited the Van Gogh Museum. Now, before I went to Amsterdam, wow. I didn't really I'm have really an appreciation a Dutch person. for artwork. I never been like, to I just one to. didn't really get it. However, I would now like to clarify, I am somewhat a art specialist. <laughs> Do look. I'm definitely of not. But yeah, we went to the Van Gogh Museum, specialist. and it was just really cool to kind of 
explore his whole life and his story and actually get an appreciation for artwork we like hide those little headsets where you walk around it is really difficult like to make a video in, in and english make me about value dutch things work. and not value value or a couple of words dutch it's so i probably have to put some uh, translations to throughout this video because also, I, I think there would be no a couple people in of Holland watch my videos that you were just saying like when I say that but I was just a bit blown away and stuff so um thank you for saying hello and that it smells cinnamony does it matter much? Oh I don't God. even Holland know those like which I think toxic waste I feel all the saliva in my mouth has just been sucked into this one sweet uh, yeah I know Sour sweets, but I don't think I know this. Now it tastes just like a lemon in my mouth. A lemon with a smell. I wonder if these are sour. Oh, oh yeah, it's like a soft mint. Oh yeah, that's good. I like this. I'll give these a thumbs up. German drop zoot. This is a salty licorice mix, apparently. Oh, that is salty. Oh, I like that because I can actually chew this licorice on like the last one. How can people in Amsterdam are drop really, be salty. really cool. Like the, you just look cool. Coffee house. Coffee house. Stogne. Stogne. Oh, it's like ginger biscuits. Ginger biscuits. Ginger biscuit. Biscuits. Biscuits. Oh, wow. Uh, ginger uh, biscuits. So. It tastes like Christmas and sugar in my mouth. No, it's very sweet. I have no I idea what I eat those almost every day and I don't think it's Christmas. It is. It reach death? Oh, it's got a queen symbol thing on it. Does that mean that the queen uses it? No, like everyone it. Like uses it, not only well, the queen. It's just got a slice of toast and sprinkles. Are these literally just sprinkles that you are meant to... They are literally yeah, sprinkles. Yeah, those are sprinkles that you meant are meant to put, put on, on your toast. How is something Thank even you? that colour? Seriously? None of this stuff is... Good for you. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just gonna. Wow, he just eats us from his hands. <laughs> this his tastes face. like. Okay, do you remember you had those like bead sweets and they were on oh, a necklace and you used to like bite each individual candy thing off and then if you sucked it they went really soft and then you could bite them and chew them? Do you know what I mean? Or do I just sound a bit no, weird? No, you're not. Don't weird. have any of this okay, in your daily diet, maybe boys and girls. This, none, none of this stuff is actually good for you. Hi guys, uh, please leave a like and spirit. comment down below. I, I know this dark. video may um, be a bit crappy, but I promised my videos will be better in the future. Bye!